Yes, the dream certainly has come true for Philadelphia Eagles fans getting the win there in Super Bowl 52 against the New England Patriots. What a game it was. Now, fans around the United States and all over the world, in fact, are rejoicing following the Super Bowl victory for the Eagles. Fox Sports News' Duncan McKenzie McCarr caught up with sports journalist Tony Bruno during the aftermath. Well, we're in downtown Minneapolis at the wildest party in the world after Philadelphia just clinched their first Super Bowl triumph. I'm now joined by Tony Bruno. Tony, you're a lifelong Eagles fan. What does it mean to you in the city? I was crying like a baby. This is the greatest thing to happen to the city since uh, nothing else. I mean, this, and I'm a lifelong Eagle fan, even though I'm a journalist. I'm still a fan at heart. This city has never had a Super Bowl. The fans came out here all the way to Minnesota, couldn't get into the game. Yeah. So having us at this party, get out of here! <laughs> get out of this shot! And you can see the fans are behaving. They're just really happy. There's yeah. joy everywhere. And I told the people in Australia, I told all my friends in Melbourne, I told all my friends down there in all the great cities, in Melbourne, in, uh, give me some other cities down there. Where else are they? Where else are they rooting for the Eagles down there in Australia? Yeah, for sure. Every city in Australia. Every city. You and I know you're going to buy, you're going to all buy Nick Foles jerseys tomorrow, right? 100%. What a performance it was by Nick, because he really rose to the occasion, didn't he? Absolutely. I mean, Tom Brady is the greatest of all time, and the Eagles could not stop him in the second half. But when the defense needed to make one big play, they finally got that strip. But Brady still had another chance down eight, so the best he could do is get a late touchdown, tie the game, and maybe go overtime. But the Eagles' defense found a way to finally make one important stop but without Nick Foles, the Eagles don't win the Super Bowl. And what about the atmosphere in here, guys? Unbelievable. Totally crazy. It was like we were at the game, or the game was being played in Philadelphia. I know. We're, we're two blocks from the stadium, and all these people who needed a place to come, I invited them all to come here. And so all these people will never forget where they, you know, you never forget where you were. These people will not forget where they were when the Eagles won their first Super Bowl. And when did you think of the game was won, Tony? Because obviously Brady had the ball in the dying seconds and then that huge strip sack was a massive moment in the game. No doubt about it. Before that, everybody was scared to death because the Eagles couldn't stop Brady. Yeah. Brady was doing whatever he wanted. And Bill Belichick, who's a master, what he was able to do was say, make an adjustment at halftime. We're going to start throwing the ball to Gronkowski. We're going to throw the ball to Amendola. And those guys were open. And I was shocked that the Eagles were playing single coverage because he was just basically doing whatever he wanted to do. And so finally, when the Eagles were up three, they needed to get a stop, and they did. Because every, they were only up two, and the whole world is thinking, uh-oh, all Brady needs is a field goal to get the win. And then the Eagles score that huge touchdown and then uh, actually get the field goal to go up. To, and then the eight-point lead with the field goal, right. we knew it was over at that point. But even with the eight-point lead, I know. it was still Hail Mary, Gronkowski's in the end zone, <laughs> and he manages that. He was managed to bat it down and escape. And then, and, the, and everybody went crazy at that point. They knew it was finally over. It's a drought-breaking Super Bowl win. How do you expect these fans to really celebrate? This is going to be going for days and days. Oh, absolutely. This will be... Hopefully the people back in Philadelphia are behaving. But you see the people here are just joyous. They're happy. They're not, they don't want to destroy things. They just want to get the monkey off their backs and experience joy. Because yeah. it, it brings sports, as you know, Duncan, it brings communities together. Yeah. When your team wins and it's your only team that you root for in your city, when they win something huge like this, everybody, it doesn't matter your race, religion, color, creed, everybody comes together as one. And the Eagles have now joined all those great Philadelphia sports teams who have now won a title in their sport. Right, they were the last team. Well, they've won championships in the 60s and 40s, but the Super Bowl eluded them three times, two times previous. Now they finally have a Super Bowl. The Sixers have a couple of NBA championships. The Flyers have two Stanley Cups. And, of course, the Phillies have a couple of World Series. So it's finally over. I can die a happy man now. Oh, that's very good to hear. Hey, Tony Bruno, thanks so much for having us here. What an incredible occasion. What an incredible atmosphere. It is Minneapolis here, downtown Minneapolis. The Philadelphia Eagles have won their first Super Bowl. What a moment.